Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about this, the Infinity Labs ClearCall Wireless. We're going to go over some of the basic specs of it and how it is to use, and then get into the real questions like, do you need one, and is it actually good for the price? All of that is soon to come, but first if you guys could like and subscribe it really means a lot as a small creator, and let's roll the intro. Okay. So let's get right into this in physical construction. So this is a portable wireless speaker phone. So what you can do is you can bring it around different locations and then it basically allows you to talk on speaker but with a much more powerful speaker and a powerful 360 degree microphone array. It also could be used as a portable speaker but the bass isn't really that good and unless you're just using it for fun I wouldn't buy it for that specific purpose. It does contain physical buttons, so it's really easy to interact with, and they're all rubberized, so even though it's not necessarily waterproof, I would expect it to take at least one or two spills. It also features a USB-C port for charging and actually interacting with uh, PCs, so if you wanted to plug it into your PC, it does support that, it's not only Bluetooth. It also has a USB-A for charging other devices. There is also a headphone port on here, so if you wanted to use it just as like a basically Bluetooth dock for your phone, so you can just have a physical headphone out. One cool thing about Infinity Labs is all of their products are very ecologically sound. So for instance, all of the materials in the packaging were pure cardboard and there was no excess plastic. And at the same time, the design itself also tries to reduce the impact on the environment. This is very nice, and the product still feels very premium, as it should at its high price. Um, one thing I would note is that the grid for the speaker does allow for dust to get trapped in there very easily, and it can actually be really hard to clean out. For instance, one of the holes on my unit, uh, there was dust in there, and then it just never left, so it was like a white dot on it. That's pretty much the overall physical description of the unit, and now let's get into how it actually is to use. So now let's talk about the setup. If you want to use it in Bluetooth mode, it's actually really easy to do. All you have to do is press the Bluetooth button on it and it syncs like almost any other device would. USB is a little bit more challenging, kind of. So you have to get a USB-C to USB-C cable or A cable depending on your PC and you just plug it in and theoretically it should just automatically come up as like a speaker or microphone input. However, this doesn't always happen. For me, I had to restart my computer one time and then eventually it just appeared. I didn't really do anything, it just eventually decided it wanted to work. So, it was an easy setup, I guess, but just keep in mind that it may take some trial and error. So now I'm gonna actually try to do some tests with this so that you guys can hear how it actually sounds. So I recorded speaking at different distances from the unit, so I'm not gonna play that back. This is a test at about one meter. This is a test at about three meters. This is a test at about five meters. So as you can see, it stays pretty clear no matter what distance you're speaking from. It does get quieter as you get further away from it as you would expect, but it's still pretty clear and even in a large room, you should be able to hear everyone talking. Now, let's also test the 360 degree microphone array. Testing, 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 testing. So as you can see, it actually does pick up voices from pretty much all directions. This is really nice and should be awesome for use in like a boardroom or something where people are sitting around a table. As I said earlier, this product doesn't really make a great speaker if you wanted to listen to music or something. However, that is because the speakers have been optimized for voices. So voices come through really clear, even if it's coming through a phone line and isn't always the best audio as it's been compressed. So here I'm going to actually play back a recording of what the speaker sounds like. Here is a test of the sound of the speaker quality. So as you can see, you can hear voices pretty clearly. It's just music that it doesn't sound the best on. That's pretty much how it is to use day to day. So now let's get into the conclusion. This product comes in at $130, and that's really expensive, especially when comparing some of the competition. However, it does do a really good job at what it says it should, so you can't really be mad about that. There may be better value options, but this is a very premium product, and you can tell just by holding it, it feels really solid. The real question is whether you actually need one. If you're in boardrooms all the time with a lot of people talking, this may be a great product for you. However, if you're only using it for at-home use where you're just kind of walking around the room, it depends on your phone, but I think it may not be worth spending $130 over your phone's built-in speaker functionality. 
but it depends on which phone you have and also how you plan to use it. For the right person, I think this product would be a great value. Thank you again for watching and if you could please like and subscribe that would really help me out as a small creator. I'm trying to get to 300 subscribers and I'm on the way. So thank you so much and if you have time, please feel free to watch some of my other videos.